I have a guest, uh, our guest tonight, Staff Sergeant Marcos Moreno, who uh, brought this idea to our attention. And I'm just going to read a little bit here, and then I would uh, allow Ashley to speak. On May 13, 2014, the Sunnyside community lost a highly decorated Sunnyside High School graduate from the class of 2000, sorry, from the class of 1982. Command Sergeant Major Martin R. Barreras died of wounds sustained while supporting Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. Command Sergeant Major Barajas served his country since 1983 as a U.S. Marine, Army Infantryman, and 22 years as a member of the 75th Ranger Regiment. Following his assignment with the 75th the 75th Ranger Regiment, he served as a senior enlisted advisor of the United States Army Marksmanship Unit from August 2009 to August 2012. In March 2013, Major Barreras was assigned as a senior enlisted advisor for the 2nd Battalion 5th Infantry Regiment and deployed to Afghanistan. Command Sergeant Major Martin R. Barreras earned numerous awards and decorations for his meritorious service while serving his country, including the Legion of Merit, the Bronze Star with Valor Device, the Bronze Star, Star Medal, two of these, the Purple Heart. He is one of the finest examples of our community and the one of honor, courage, and dedication. And we should all strive this in all our children. The request that is respectfully being submitted to the governing board at uh, this time to, to actually be named Sunnyside Park, which is the little park next to Sunnyside High School, to Command Sergeant Major Martin R. Barreras Park slash Gunny. My name is uh, Marcos Moreno. I'm a staff sergeant in the Army National Guard. Uh, it's my great honor to actually be here. Um, thank you for taking the time. I thank everybody for actually hear what I have to say. I'll keep it short, even though it's hot. Um, but what was yesterday? Yesterday was what? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. When's, the, when's Veterans Day? Those are the only two days those soldiers that have fallen for their country have been remembered. This great soldier, Gunny, was probably one of the best soldiers. I don't even know him. He's my brother in arms. He was a proud graduate of Sunnyside. Sunnyside has turned out. Turned out an amazing line of, of people that have done everything. You know, my, my wife has worked for Liberty Elementary 25 years. She was under the, the Mr. Cohen regime. That's why I was out there talking, you know, catching up with them. You know, my my daughter was a Sunnyside uh, High School graduate. She was a, she was a student body president. My son graduated from Sunnyside two years ago. Right now, he's in the United States Navy. He's deployed overseas aboard the USS George Bush. My daughter, the little princess that she is, she's at the Freshman Academy. Um, I love this district. I, you know, I went to Pueblo, 86, you know, South Tucson kid, but I really, really love what Sunnyside has done. When I heard about this, this happening, I had to read it twice, because it affected me. It cut me deep. You know, I went to the funeral on Saturday, and just to hear his two brothers speak, and to have both parents in attendance, and hear what he did, hear that when he rescued Jennifer Lynch and found out that the, bot, the soldiers that who were also killed in ambush, were across the street in a very, very dangerous place. He volunteered for that. This man had a purple heart. He had everything. He was the most highly decorated, non-commissioned officer. And he was a proud product of our community and Sunnyside. And, oh God help me, I would do everything in my power after I win the lottery to make sure we remember him every single day. Now, I've had some great help by, you know, the great Sunnyside principal vector, Mr. Ibarra. I was in contact with him. You are Mr. Slaughter, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the mayor, council, mayor's office, council, <coughs> everyone loved the idea. I, I launched the Facebook thing. I didn't think it was going to take off. I really didn't. My Facebook page for this man has reached over 27,000 people. I've had people from all over contact me. And I'm sure it only has 1,000 likes, but it has 27,000 people. I got people walking up to me. They don't even know who I am. So make it happen. Make it happen. So I've had some great help by your new incoming member, okay, because she's part of the neighborhood. So I had to reach out to her. She gave me some great advice. We want to go after this track. <coughs> I want to go after this track because it's part of Sunnyside. 
at night, if you're not into fitness, go there at night. There's about 100 people. There's women in strollers. There's old people in the morning. It's amazing. You got your beautiful softball player there, your beautiful baseball player there. You got the football team. You got everything. There are kids. I want this park to be named after him with all due respect because every time I want people go around that track, I want them to look up and say, you know what? Not only did I know him, but he graduated from Sunnyside. I can do what he did to raise to the highest rank the Army has. I invite you to visit the Facebook page. I invite you to, to learn about this man. I invite you to see every single soldier that has fallen from Sunnyside. We have some great students at Sunnyside. We have great wrestlers. They're all over. And my request to you from the bottom of my heart is to actually rename Sunnyside Park to CSM, which stands for Command Sergeant Major, Martin R. Barrera, and I'm proud of that, right? Correct? I don't want to offend anybody. Okay? Gunny. The reason they call him Gunny is because this gentleman spent four or five years in the Marine Corps. And on Friday night, his class, class from 1982, met at Sunnyside, along with, what's your name back there, sir? Chris. Chris. Chris was, was there. He was in school. They decorated the fence. This guy right here, if you saw him in high school, he was a little punk. You would never think he was in high school. I say that with all due respect. He was in the choir. Everyone loved him. His two brothers are huge. You would never expect this man to have done what he did. So I thank you for your time. I will hang out. And I'll answer every question you want. I'll inter do every interview you want in English and Spanish. Because I want the word to get out. You know, Ms. Eva Dong, which I love have working with, she came up with another great idea. Why don't we do some fundraising and do a plaque? I can do that later. And I'll have a car wash with a bunch of soldiers. Can you imagine how many women show up? <laughs> My request to the board, Dr. Skierdo, and Mr. Hernandez, Mr. Crouch, Ms. Dong, Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Garcia, Mr. Encinas, Ms. Jones, Dr. Bergman, <laughs> everyone in attendance, please grant me this wish. Help me honor our proud soldier and rename Sunnyside Park to exactly the command sergeant major Gunny R. Barreras Gunny Park. Okay? So I will take move that we rename the Sunnyside Park to CSM Martin R. Barajas Barajas Gunny Park. Uh, I'm going to second, but with a comment. I'll second it. Uh, Sergeant Moreno, I think it's an honor for us to have the park name for him. Thank you. Thank you. Staff Sergeant Moreno, thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. I think not having known him, I think it really speaks to the importance of recognizing him, even though we may not have known him personally, the effect that he's had on our community and will hopefully continue to have as we rename this park. I mean, take a little your wife from me. I haven't seen her in a few years, but uh, thank you so much for your service. It, I couldn't think of a more fitting way after Memorial Day to honor you know, CSM um, Barrera. So thank you so much. And with that, I. 
I'm very honored to be with Lodi. Mr. Garcia? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez? Yes. Stop. Yes. Thank you.